In this short video, we'll show you how to plan a course using Open Orienteering Map. We'll start at the website oomap.co.uk and select the UK mapping. The map data comes from the OpenStreetMap, with 10 metre contours from the Ordnance Survey Open Data. We'll enter a postcode to jump to the area we're interested in. If we zoom in, we can see the default map style. This typically shows just the right level of detail for a street event in a residential area. There is also an option that removes railways, and another that is styled more like a sprint specification orienteering map. The olive colouring often makes the paths hard to see, but it does mean that buildings are shown, which may be important in non-residential areas. If we click, that places the centre of our map. To move this centre, click on the blue dot, release, drag to the new centre, and let go. We can change the orientation of the map between landscape and portrait, choose between A4 and A3 map size, and select a scale between 1 to 5,000 and 1 to 40,000. The default 1 to 10,000 is about right given the level of detail on the map. If we want to quickly populate the map with controls, we can use the options to add control sites for all the blue plaques in the area or all the post boxes. We'll delete those and place our own controls. We'll zoom in again so we can get the control placement accurate, particularly important if you intend to use it with Map Run. We'll click where we want the start finish to be and select that option. We then repeat the process to place each control. We can use the Edit option to change the placement of the number relative to the control circle, and edit the description. You can't move a control though, you have to delete it and place it again where you want it. When you're finished, you can save the map and generate the PDF file. It warns us that we haven't added the map title or the description. You're now ready to run. You can use the ID on the map if you want to subsequently reload the map in Open Orienteering Map and make changes. You can also print control descriptions and download the map file and course file for use with MapRun, which is where we'll pick up in the next video.